So, uh, my name is Martin. Um, I'm from Textelp. I'll just give you like two minutes of background. Uh, Steve did a really good job of uh, kind of uh, introducing me there. But for the last 15 years or so, we've been really working hard on trying to uh, create software based around solid UDL principles to help kids with reading and writing. But there's a, in doing that, and we've done a really good job I've, uh, of you know, getting publishers to make materials available digitally and accessibly to allow uh, people to really implement a strong UDL practice based on that accessible text. But during all that time, math um, has not been all that accessible. So over the last year, we've been switching our focus. Uh, we've kind of grown our team, and we've got a team looking at accessible science and accessible math notation. So I just want to show you some of that stuff today. I'm used to looking behind me to see the, the screens. So lots of kids get turned off math early. And when they get turned off math early, they get afraid of math, and then they, they kind of they don't engage with it. And that's, uh, that, that's a problem. It's kind of a problem for society. You can't see some of the things in the bottom of the screen here, but uh, there's a, there's a, you know, if kids get switched off math in elementary school, they're much less likely to get involved in a math career. And 26% of the jobs that are around, um, or 20% of all the jobs that are around at the moment really need a, a strong math foundation. Lots and lots of STEM jobs around. And we want to try to do what we can to stop kids becoming disengaged with math because of their, uh, their perception around it. In the same way that you know, lots of kids become disengaged with reading and disengaged with writing, similarly, lots of kids get afraid and scared and they disengage with math. And we want to try to prevent that disengagement from happening in the first instance. So we see math in, is this animation going to appear? <laughs> Didn't appear. So I'm going to have to describe the animation that didn't appear. So there are three things about math. Uh, there is the math notation itself. So uh, the math notation itself, what it looks like. So you can imagine the square root sign, uh, the pi symbol. Uh, if something has got a superscript two or three, uh, that, you know, that, that tells us that it's squared or cubed. And that's one thing. That's the notation. And kids have to get their head around the notation. And then there's the terminology. And the terminology is how we describe that math. So x squared, x cubed, uh, the square root of x, and pi. You guys are all enjoying pi uh, at the moment. So, but it's difficult for kids to, to bridge that gap. It's kind of like a language of its own. Math is a language of its own. And if, if you were to just say to a kid, write down you know, the square root of pi over theta, they, just, they wouldn't know how to do that. That's something they have to learn. In the same way that if they had to learn how to do something in Spanish or French, uh, it would be difficult for them. And then the third piece is the, is the actual concept of the math itself. So if I say x squared and I write down x superscript 2, well, that means we take this thing x and we multiply it by itself. So there are really three pieces. There's the, there's the terminology, how we talk about it, the notation, what it looks like, and then the math concept itself. And that can be a, a complicated and scary thing. And so. This is what math, this is what math uh, looks like. And software companies really have not been part of the solution. Um, <laughs> we have really been, software companies have really been part of the problem. If you ask a kid to make math or write some math, very often, even if they're a really young kid, we end up presenting them with a, a, like a palette of math tools that are appropriate for high school or higher ed. And uh, it makes math scary. And uh, you know that's that's just not a good idea. So we've been thinking about this for actually for a very long time, <laughs> and it's taken us years to to to, to get this right. Uh, but we've made a thing called Equatio, and Equatio is a new kind of universally designed tool to help teachers and kids um, express their math how they want to express their math and help them to consume their math. Um, a little bit more um, accessibly as well. So uh, the whole idea is it doesn't matter if you want to handwrite your math or type your math or if you're a programmer and you know kind of LaTeX. Does anyone know LaTeX? Can I, from a show of hands, how many people know what LaTeX is? You see? Not very many people. Um, yeah. How many people can say x squared out loud or write it with their fingers? <laughs> Everyone? So we're, we're trying to take that approach. We're trying to get people to be able to um, write their math the way that they want to write their math. So the idea is to, to really change the way teachers uh, create math and change the way kids can respond to their math and their math homework.
So it's been in the market for about a year. Um, we've got a few versions of it. We've got a Microsoft version that works with uh, Microsoft Word, and also a Mac version that works with uh, Pages and Microsoft Word on, uh, on Pages. And there's a Chrome extension that allows it to work in Docs and Sheets and Forms. So I'm going to show it. Uh, just show one of these things today. Um, but I think one of the important things is this, the, the number of different ways that we allow kids to input their math. So uh, again, kind of based on these UDL principles, we want, we want to take away the difficult stuff and just we should take care of the hard stuff and just allow kids to type their math. So, and I think if you look back 10 years ago, when people were learning about HTML, um, you would have ha have people in a text editor, and they would have like they would know how to do the angle brackets for bold. You would do like angle brackets B for bold, and but nowadays we don't expect anyone to do that. You just you know you you just write the content that you want to have on your website, and someone else takes care of all that markup. And uh, so we're trying to do the same thing for math and allow people to type in plain English. So they can just type in x, s, q, and we'll predict squared in the same way that if kids are typing English and we predict some English words to help them with the writing. If they're typing some math or science, we can also predict that math or science. And whenever they select the thing from the list, we take care of all that LaTeX nonsense, and we take care of all the accessibility and just give them a nice, easy user experience. Similarly, speech input, um, we allow people to dictate their math. So you can just say x squared plus 2y equals 7, and it'll pop it in there, and it will take care of the, uh, the alternate text. Um, it works really well, even in noisy environments. Um, it's pretty good. And uh, it's also got handwriting recognition. These days, can I, by a show of hands, does anyone, how many people in your school district are using touch devices, like Microsoft Surface devices, or, yeah, good few people, or Chromebooks with touch screens? So that's starting to happen more and more. And so we really wanted to be able to do something that allowed a kid to use a stylus to express their math knowledge. But one of the challenges about writing stuff down is sometimes when you write stuff down, it loses accessibility because it's just a bunch of scribbles. So, um, so what we've done is uh, some handwriting recognition that will turn that math into nice, clean, typeset, accessible math. And uh, again, it works in Word and uh, Docs and really wherever you want to use it. Um, We've also done a thing, so lots of schools you know, have invested already in laptops and Chromebooks that don't have touch screens, and, uh, but we really wanted kids to be able to, to handwrite their math. Math is, it's a really, really, <laughs> you know, even if you've got fractions and you're simplifying a fraction and you kind of strike out part of the numerator and the denominator, that's, you can't type that sort of thing, so it is very important to be able to empower kids to be able to express their math with a, with a pen or pencil. And if they don't have a touchscreen device, then that's difficult. But every kid has a touchscreen device. Every kid has got one of these things here. So we've, uh, we've built a piece of uh, equatio that allows you to use your phone as an input device. You can either talk to your phone and dictate the math, or you can finger write your math on your phone, or you can actually write some complicated math on paper and just snap a photograph, and we'll turn it into a nice accessible math and pop it in. And so it really means you've got, it really doesn't really matter whether you're using a Windows device or a Chrome device or whether you've got touchscreen or not. There should be something here uh, to allow you to do your math accessibly. And at this stage, I a like I'm really scared now because uh, do whatever you need to do. I have to have to do a demo. But I want to thank Ray at the back, the AV guy, because uh, no one else has had this complicated stuff with having a laptop up here. So Ray, thank you. You're a star. Um, hopefully, this, uh, hopefully this works now. I just want to show you very quickly two or three of the things that we're doing with math. So I'm going to switch over here and show you. Uh, so the, I'm going to show you this in a Google Doc, but it works exactly the same way in, uh, in Microsoft Word. It's just uh, easier for me to have this on the screen here today. So if I want to do some math in here, I can press this blue button, and a Quizio toolbar appears across the bottom. And I just want to insert some math in a couple of different ways here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just type my math in plain English. So I can press this, this button. The math panel pops up. And I'm just going to type in plain English with one finger. And I'm going to type in um, the square root of x cubed over pi with one finger. So I type in SQ, and you can see it predicts square root. And then I'm going to type X, C, U, it's predict cubed uh, over pi. OK, so that's pretty easy. And we can insert the math. 
And you can see now, um, you know, it's put that math in the document. And for the accessibility folks in the room, I should be able to show you the, uh, the alternate text. Let me just get rid of this toolbar. You know what? I'll just read it aloud instead. The fraction with the numerator, the square root of x cubed and denominator pi. So you can see, um, you can uh, just type in plain English, and we'll take care of the, um, of the accessibility and so on, so that it's read aloud. It's very, very flexible. Um, as well as doing uh, math, uh, it'll do kind of formulas and scientific stuff as well. So if I was to type in the quadratic formula, um, all I need to do is start typing the beginning of it, and it'll predict all the rest of it for me and it'll put that sort of thing in. If you're into science, um, you could type in, uh, you know, there's like sulfamic acid, and it'll do all that sort of stuff for you. So you can just start to type in plain English, and we'll take care of the notation and the accessibility and all that sort of thing. So super easy to use. And uh, I want to show a couple of other things. I want to show the handwriting recognition. So again, if you've got a touchscreen device, uh, I don't have a touchscreen device, so I'm going to write with my mouse. I'm not very good at writing with my mouse, so you can kind of uh, cut me some slack on that one. But if I want to type in the square root of x over uh, pi cubed, and you can see that it recognizes that handwriting, uh, and it just uh, pops it into the document. So again, super easy. If you've got uh, like a Microsoft Surface device or a touchscreen uh, Chromebook, you can just write on the surface of the screen and pop it in. It is pretty cool. Um, it's also, I'm going to see if this works. I don't know with the background noise and all the microphones and stuff, but let's have a go at this. So I'm just going to add. Oh, no, this will be, this will be fine. So what I'm going to do is try to use my microphone and put some math in. That 3x squared plus 2y plus 17 equals 9. And you can see, um, yeah, you can see that it just uh, inserts the math uh, in the doc. So if I just insert that math, it'll pop it in. Oh, it's already in the document. So you can see we can type in plain English, and it'll take care of all that stuff. Uh, you can handwrite your math. And you can also dictate your math, and it pops it in, and it puts all the accessible stuff in there. But there's a couple of other things that we do that are very cool. Um, I want to just show you this very, very briefly. And this is the piece that could just really go wrong. <laughs> so um, what I've got here is this is the mobile phone version of the product. And so what I'm going to do is uh, the mobile phone knows that I'm, uh, I'm using this document. So I can go here and on my phone, type in the square root of 3 over pi to the power of 4. And uh, we should see it just going in here. So that means that um, if you've got another device somewhere, you can just use your phone as your input device. And even if I've got, got some math written down here, if you want to play with this later, we're just at the booth just outside. And uh, I'm going to get my camera. And I'm going to take a photograph of some math here that I've got. OK, and I'm going to save this as, as math and insert it into my doc. But you can see it's all neat and typeset. So my scribbly old handwriting has turned into nice, neat uh, handwritten math. And I can even do kind of some fractiony stuff here. So uh, let me just take another photograph. And so it's going to do the same thing. It's going to pop in some accessible math. It's all accessible. It's got alt text and all of that good stuff. So super easy to use. And you can even, if your microphone doesn't work on your Chromebook or your uh, um, Windows laptop, you can also dictate your math. 3x squared plus 2y equals 17. Oh, I turned my microphone off too, <laughs> too early. Let me just try this again. 3x squared plus 2y equals 17. Something wasn't going to work. This is it. So it's too noisy. Um, 
anyway, so I just wanted to show you some of that stuff uh, so that you can see what we've got going on. Thank you for your time. Enjoy your lunch. <laughs>